Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to draw the half lap joint in engineering workshop. So first draw a straight line. Mark a point on the left side of the line. So using the protractor, take the angles as 30 degrees, 90 and 30. So this is 30 degrees on right side, it's 90 degrees and it is 30 degrees on left side. Okay, after marking the points, that is marking the angles at 30 degrees, 90 and 30 degrees on left and right sides. So first draw a line on the right side up to a length of 150. So using this point and this 30 degrees angle, so draw a 150 mm that is 115 centimeters using scale so this is up to 15 centimeters from here to here and again on left side draw a length of 50 so using this point and this angle point 30 degrees angle point so draw a line of 50 mm that is 5 centimeters okay so mark the point up to where it is ending and in the 90 degrees angle so draw a vertical line of length 30 mm that is 3 centimeters so 1 2 3 so this is the 3 centimeters okay and in this uh, 150 at the top side you should draw 50 50 50 lengths so now draw like this so parallel to this line so at this point mark 5 that is 5 centimeters so 1 2 3 4 5 so mark this point as 1 2 3 4 5 so up to 8 so mark this point up to 8 so this should be parallel to this line so this and this should be parallel so similarly so in this you need to divide it to three divisions that is in this 150 you should draw 50 50 50 as it is half lap joint then the middle portion should be removed off so mark 5 so 10 to 1 2 3 4 5 so point this that is 5 centimeters leave this without drawing and next 5 centimeter should be drawn like this so this is also 5 And similarly, with this vertical line, parallel to this line, so draw a line here. It should be 3 mm. Sorry, 30 mm, that is 3 centimeters. So you have drawn 3. And next, same with this parallel line, you should draw here 15, here 15. So with this parallel line, place a uh, scale here and mark 15 so 1 2 that is 1.5 centimeters you should draw here so similarly here you should also draw 1.5 centimeters or 15 mm so these two are 15 mm so similarly you should draw here incline line so parallel to this you should draw 5 mm that's why 5 centimeters here so I mark from 9 to 4 that is 50mm. That is okay. So this length is 30mm. This is 15. This is 15. And this is 30. So this total length is 150. This is 50. The empty space is also 50. And it is also 50mm. So we are done with the right side portion next we are going for the left side portion so it is completely a square that is rectangular box so parallel to this line place the point here so check whether the line is parallel or not check here and place the point here and draw the 50 mm so 10 to 5 so similarly vertical line 
take this line parallel and place it here we should draw 30 mm so this is 30 mm we are done with the left side also next coming to top okay now we are going to draw the top portion here so take this line parallel to this 50 mm okay so make the scale parallel to this and move the scale to this point now draw 50 here and at this bottom point as it is visible okay so it is also 50 and at this upper point it is also 50 and then and here also so make parallel to this and draw 50 here also okay so next we are going to draw this line parallel to this so same here you are going to draw this parallel line here also so mark this uh, sorry make this scale parallel to this line and move this move the scale to this point see you will be getting one two three four five so exact 50 mm here and similarly here also you are going to get parallel to this line okay parallel to this line you are going to get exact 50 here okay next parallel to this line move the scale to this point so here you are going to get 50 okay so these are the visible lines and here we will be getting visible line parallel to this and make this point here so draw here this is visible and remaining up to as it is length is 50 mm so these are the dotted lines that is imaginary points okay so similarly again you are going to draw the dotted lines here also as it is not visible so it is a length of 15 mm okay and this line is also not visible so this 50 mm at this bottom line as it is not visible you should draw with dotted lines okay and next we are left with this 30 mm and this totally of 150 mm and this is of 50 mm now you should draw these lines with dotted lines so make the scale parallel to this okay so move to this point and draw 30 mm okay so make the scale parallel to this you should draw 30 mm here so one two three okay and similarly make the scale parallel to this line so draw here 50 mm as it is also not visible draw with dotted lines So similarly make the scale parallel to this 150 mm line so draw from here to here 150 it is also not visible so draw with dotted lines okay so this is about the first figure in the half lap chart next we are going to give the dimensions so for dimensions First, you are going to draw the extension lines here for each and every length. So this should be very light as the extension line should be very light. So I am drawing it lightly. Okay. So first we are going to give the dimensions for this line. So draw a dimension line parallel to this line here next similarly so as it is divided into three equal parts now you are going to divide it to three equal parts here that is 50 mm 50 mm 50 mm next year also you have divided this 30 mm into half so first give 15 mm and next 30 mm okay so for each and every dimension line you should give the arrow that arrow size should be in the ratios of 3 is to 1 that is length should be 3 and width should be 1 in mm that is 3 mm is to 1 mm okay. 
okay so this length is 50 this length is also 50 this length is 50 this length is 50 and coming to this vertical lens first give arrow sizes that is arrow marks it should be completely closed so this length is 15 and this length is 30 okay so now dark the complete figure with H or HP pencils okay so like this dark the figure that is complete figure which you are drawn so that it will be seen clearly Okay, in this way you can dark the figure from all the sides okay so as we are done with the given dimensions now we are going to give the angle also here so mark this arrow and give the angle as 30 degrees and here also mark this side and draw arrow marks and give the value as 30 degrees 